YouTube, what's good? It's Fisherman99, and I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but I wish I could post more. It's just school kept me busy and everything. Uh, YouTube is something I love to do, and I really love to make videos for you guys. It's just editing them and filming them is very time consuming, and I've picked up just absurd amounts of shit like this these last few months. My dad gave me this Stone Island jacket right here from 2005 that he got from a factory in China. If you guys didn't know, my dad, uh, is actually in the clothing business and he was like a young hype beast too like i am um i picked up like so much shit this carhartt jacket today the supreme box logo today i traded them i caught like mad diodoras lately i'm on that diodora flow diodoras are mad dope holy shit man like it's crazy the amount of di diodoras i have now i caught uh saint alfred jelly threes I've caught most of the 25th anniversaries, picked up mostly for retail. There's so many people I have to like give shout outs to, make videos for, caught these, the Colettes. What else? Oh yeah, the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1s. Didn't make a video for these either. Uh, the J&D Ultra Boost, I have the white ones on the way as well. What else? Uh, Epitome Sauconies. Bushwhackers, like crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of stuff. So many pickups and like, I just wish I can get to them. It's just, it's gotten out of hand. And I mean, I'm still picking stuff up. It's just hard to review everything. I really wish I could. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm gonna try to post more. Maybe I might just make videos where I let it drag on, edit less so I can, you know, it's less time consuming the whole process and everything. But that's not what you guys came for. Uh, the title of the video is the six Ronnie Five Jolly Fives. And uh, I essentially picked up the Diamond Jolly Fives recently. I didn't really want the Diamond Jolly Fives, but they were available for way under retail. A friend in the US hooked it up. And I said, why not? Because at least it completes the pack and I can make this video for you guys, even though I have plenty of other content to review. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the first one. So the Volcano Gel Light 5s are my favorite Gel Light 5s to date. The color blocking on this is phenomenal. The salmon, red, burgundy, and navy hits are just, it's just such a well-executed sneaker. And I've went on about this in a previous pickup video. Uh, I'll link it right here. But I really, really love this shoe. Um, highly recommend it if you can find them for a good price. I know the going rate is kind of crazy. Next up, the Mint and Cove Gel Light 5s. The Cove Gel Light 5s are my third favorite Gel Light 5s. If you're wondering what's second, it is the Da Vinci's. I am looking for those, by the way, in a 10 to 10 and a half. Hit me up if you have them uh, for a reasonable price. The Cove Gel Light 5 uh, reminds me of the Cove Gel Light 3, of course, just like the Mints do. And uh, I really liked the way it came out on the Gel Light 5 silhouette. Um, the pigskin squid, of course, that Ronnie Feig is notorious for and everything. Speaking of pack Gel Light 5s, and move on to the next ones. The Sage and Rose Gold Gel Light 5s. A lot of people really appreciated the Sage Gel Light 5 colorway. And it kind of gave some a recognition to the Volcano Gel Light 5. Here, let me pull up the Volcanoes. You can see like the colors really like contrast each other. A lot of people were like even taking pictures and saying like fire and ice. Anyways, I really liked what people did with these and uh, Ronnie Feig executed this sneaker beautifully. There's so many little details you don't notice on this sneaker until you have them in hand. The quality of course is always there, the pigskin suede and all of that. Another sneaker that's a throwback like the Mint and Coves is the Rose Gold Gel Light 5 drawn from the Rose Gold GT2. Uh, these are just, once again, well executed. What I like that he did with these and the Sages is that they have like this back that, that's kind of like a, uh, if you ever opened up a baseball, it kind of has like this scratched up uh, texture on it. It's the Diamond Gel Light 5 right here has that exact same texture, but instead of just being in the lower heel portion of the sneaker, it's actually the entire heel portion. Um, and it looks really cool in silver. Uh, and the entire upper is that like infamous uh, sort of mint color that Ronnie Feig uses all the time. It's a little bit lighter, but uh, honestly, the sneaker is my least favorite out of the six. But once again, I picked it up because I was able to get them for a really good price. So I wasn't gonna pass up. So that basically sums up the six Ronnie Feig Gel 8 Fives. Let me know which one you guys like the most. And until next time, it's Fish from My 99 signing out.